Hey kids, how are you doing? I hope you've been having a great time, having a lot of fun playing the songs we've previously taken a look at, and you've been staying safe. Now, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Sweet Home Alabama. We're going to build on that, and we're also going to learn how to play another song, which is really easy, but it sounds incredible. It's a song called Budapest by George Ezra. All right? So, starting with Sweet Home Alabama, just a quick recap of what we already know, it's Down, 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 I'm C, down, 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 I'm G, down, 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 I'm two times G. that down you've got a huge chunk of that song complete and you can sing the entire song pretty much and have a great time doing so so what we're going to do today is what we could treat as like an introduction to this song so uh, we have a little bit of picking and we can go back to the strumming anytime you like so I would use this as a filler maybe in between two verses or when you just start the song off now to get to that section what we're going to do is we're going to start on the D chord and we're going to play the fourth string two times. Okay? And now we're going to go up, up, up on strings two, three, and four, which will be. Okay, so that should sound like down, down, up, up, up. Right? Down, down on the D string, and up, up, up on the B, G, and D string. So, putting that in time, it'll be. Again. All right. And now, since this is an introduction, we're going to take the easiest way possible. And all we're going to do is take that middle finger and we're going to place it on the third fret of the A string. These two fingers can stay the same. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play two downstrokes on the A string. Right. And now up, up, up on the same B, G, and D strings. So it becomes, right, again. So let's put the first pattern that we applied to the D chord, and then we'll do the same thing to the C chord, but we've changed the bass note, and it should sound like this. Again. Right, so D string twice, followed by the A string twice with our finger on the third fret. Now, remember we have G two times, so what pattern we're gonna play is, we're gonna keep that two down stroke pattern, but instead of any picking on an up stroke, we're just gonna put a nice long down stroke strum. So, when we put that whole thing together, we get an introduction that should sound a lot like this. little introduction or a filler and then you can move on to the strumming that we've already taken a look at. Now, I just wanted to point out that when we were playing the introduction we kind of cheated a little bit in that we didn't go to a proper C chord we left our fingers in that D shape but we added a C note to the bass and then when we moved to the G I just lifted that up over there. These two fingers didn't change at all. So it's quite nice you get to focus on just the bass note and making sure you play each of them two times as you go through this section. One last time, here's a D shape, we've just got the first and our third finger, this one's curled up down there. Then 
we're not going to go to that C shape. We're just going to leave that middle finger and put it up there. That's the only difference. Okay, between the introduction and the strumming section that we've already taken a look at. Now, once you're done with this, we can take a look at a song called Budapest by George Ezra. George Ezra has done a beautiful job with this song. And the beauty of it is just three chords and the verse is actually two chords and we can get through the whole verse. Now, we'll start off really, really simple. The outline for this song is G and C in the verse. Okay, so it's just G eight times, four, and C four times. Okay, just catch the beat and just single strum on the first downstroke of each bar. So, the chorus changes a little bit, we'll get to that. So when we start off, we're just going to play Now I played G chord four times and I'm treating that like an introduction. So after you do this, then I would start singing and the lyrics are My house in Budapest. So it'll become My house in Budapest, my, my little treasure chest Golden grand piano my beautiful Castillo, you, 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 I'll give it up. And that's the whole verse. So, if you're keeping track, you know I play eight downstrokes on a G, followed by four downstrokes on a C chord, and then back to four downstrokes on a G chord. Okay, and that's your entire verse. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. sings the song he actually does two verses before he gets to the chorus so you play this whole section right that means eight down strokes on G four on C four on G and then you repeat eight more G's because there's a G at the end of the cycle and there's a G in the beginning of the cycle once you're done with that you're ready to move into the chorus and the chorus is a whole bunch of chords we've already just used in Sweet Home Alabama we're gonna play D What happened here is two down strokes on a D chord, move to a C for two down strokes, and G for four. So, so far we got my house in Budapest, my, my little treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beautiful Castillo, you, you. Give it up. Second verse, if you want, repeat the cycle, but go to chorus. Give me one good reason why I should never make a change. Repeat the chorus cycle. Give me one good reason why all of this should go away. Right? And that is the most basic approach to playing it's really, really beautiful song. Now, if you want to step it up a notch, here's what I would recommend. We have a pick and a strum. Alright, so it becomes... eight single strums we're gonna to have to do double that so 16 of this pattern so it'll become big strum big strum that counted as two of that pattern but it was actually one down strum right so if you're playing eight you're gonna to have to double it to 16 with this pattern if you're playing four you're gonna to have to double it to eight in that situation so Just 
things will be a little different. So we did the same pattern. We did a D, going to a C, going to a G, but instead of 2, 2 and 4, it now became 4, 4 and 8 of this big strum, big strum, big strum pattern. Alright, now if you can do those, you'll have a lot of options to sing this song, make your own version of it. I would say experiment with both. Maybe you could start with the first version and then build your way into the second, slightly more upbeat sounding version. Alright, so. watch out for really try and make sure you're playing the lowest note of each chord so if you're playing a G that's the low E string third fret if you're playing a C that's the A string third fret but if you're playing a D it's the open D string which is the fourth string all right that's super super important if you want to get that same vibe that he has going on in the song apart from that keep your wrist really loose while they're strumming and once your hand is in motion keep that motion going on you don't want to stop for this hand to find the right chord. This hand needs to be in time with this hand so that you sound in time and it sounds smooth and it's fun to sing about with. I hope you have a great time playing these songs. Enjoy yourself and take care.